And that's the latest Pacific Business News. I'm Beverly C. Radio New Zealand International, World and Pacific News. Wat the way, I'm Nicola Wright. Leading this bulletin in world news, clashes in Lebanon leave five dead. And in Pacific news with Moira Tuila Epitela, Vanuatu's deputy opposition leader says the move by the government to expel the Australian Federal Police was short-sighted. Five people have been killed and more than 70 wounded in clashes between Alawite supporters of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and Sunni Muslims in the Lebanese city of Tripoli. Fierce clashes shook the northern port city overnight and sporadic fighting continued on Monday as fighters holed up in bullet-scarred buildings, fired machine guns and rocket-propelled grenades. Tension between the Alawite and Sunni communities in Tripoli has been fueled by the unrest in neighbouring Syria where Mr Assad seeks to crush a 14-month-old revolt. Negotiations on forming a new Greek government have ended after just an hour, but will resume tomorrow. The left-wing Syriza bloc, the second largest in Parliament, did not attend the talks, saying it wouldn't join any coalition making further cuts. Three previous attempts to form a government since the election on May the 6th have failed. If no new coalition is formed, fresh elections must take place next month. Palestinian prisoners in Israeli jails have agreed to an Egyptian-brokered deal to end a mass hunger strike. A third of the 4,800 Palestinians in Israeli jails began refusing food on April the 17th, although a few have been fasting longer.